You will never understand true loneliness until you become a small YouTuber. It's a very niche kind of pastime that seems to be highly regarded by kids nowadays. And because of that, many people have tried to get to where their YouTube inspirations are. Sadly, most people don't get anywhere close to that because all they're doing is imitating somebody else's work. Even when they try to do their own thing and create something brand new, some of the people just quit and never get to see what could have been. That is why it is important to recognize the people who do put in the work and stick to it despite all obstacles, because most of the time they hardly get complimented. Creators of all genres should at least get the opportunity to be seen by others. And since we're living in a free market society, I mean I am, because that wasn't obvious at all with my accent, the audience gets to make that decision as to whether or not they want to spend more time with said YouTuber. That is why I hope to once a year, in November, keep up this series, to pay a head nod to some quality creators, to tell them that their work is very appreciated, despite the numbers that they get. This year's genres of content are animation, music, video essay, comedy, and commentary. This year's animators are Gabe TYJ, Raz Khalir, Siberian Lizard, and No Name Boy. Gabe TYJ, basically my son, is basically what would happen if you took my Gem of the Internet series and made it with 3D animation. That series would be called A Little Thing Called, where he takes a look and dissects a lot of indie, mostly indie projects, mostly, not all of them, but you know. Some other series made by him include A Wondrous Story, an original series where a rock and a fox go on adventures, and Weirdos Love Tuna, which is his first series and Probably, I probably shouldn't have mentioned that because Gabe is probably cringing right now at the fact that I even mentioned that his weirdest and uh, oldest series. So let's, let's for, our, for the sake of his mental, you know, sanity, let's pretend it, you know, doesn't exist. So thanks. Gabe also made a Batman Spider-Man video. So that's kind of our, our common thread here. <laughs> Raz Khalir is an animator that Gabe actually recommended to me. Raz makes claymation animations consisting of a series called Broken Hills and some lyric videos. Broken Hills is a psychologically mind-bending series that sheds light on some philosophical questions. And also, I just now realized what Broken Hills actually means. I'm not going to say it here because I've seen the series, so you need to watch it yourself because it's really good. It's really weird, but it's good. And also, he has like 11 subscribers, and that's really sad. So please at least check out episode one of the series because a lot of work has been put into it. And it, 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 that's the whole point of the series. It's like, I need to sh tell people about amazing things like this that I know take more than two seconds to make. So check them out. Siberian Lizard makes animated stories. Her animations are very polished, clean, and colorful. She also occasionally makes doodling videos in between animations. This really stood out to me because of honestly the quality of the animation. No Name Boy is very similar to Not Serious, except way more structured. They're short animations that have very smooth character movements. While there aren't a lot of videos to choose from as of current, I appreciate how it was animated. Now for music, there's only one person. And that person is, drumroll please, Never Rest. If you didn't know, Mateo Tunes started a new music endeavor called Never Rest. And let me tell you, they are some really chill tunes. It's very Gorillaz-esque, especially with the vocals. And one of the songs is currently playing to give you a taste of the vibe. The vocals are faint and echoey, which adds to the tone that the songs are trying to portray. I recommend The Thought Of, which is the song that's playing right now. The next category is video essay, which means that if you like my specific content, you may like these other creators, most likely. These people are Slush, Moonface, Void Eon, and Yoshi Joe. Slush's videos feel like you're watching a documentary. While mostly focusing on the gaming sphere, specifically Smash and esports, this person is known for his The History Of series, which is his long form content. If you don't have time to watch 13 to 30 minute videos, so if you don't have time to watch my videos either, <laughs> there are some shorter ones that relate to Summit 1G, Angry Video Game Nerd, and even the Joker movie. This is one of my favorite video essay channels as of current. Moonface makes video as. Shut up. Moonface makes video essays about specific aspects of video games. These currently relate to Batman, 
indie games, AAA games, and general instances in multiple games. His writing is quite impressive for a channel his size, and generally knows how to look at things deeper. Void Eon is probably the weirdest out of these four. For starters, his creativity is a mishmash of things, so it's tough to categorize him. While his content mostly consists of short film type things, a highlight are his video essays, specifically his Death Road to Canada video. Next is the fact that although he does make video essays, the twist that they have is that they include original story elements that aren't in the game, similar to Cheapskate Chronicles. I also did a collab with him, it was this one right here, I hope you saw it because it was pretty good. <laughs> he, huh, <laughs> um, Yoshi Joe is also similar to Void Eon, in the sense that his content has a lot of different types of styles, yet they're all under one roof. Yoshi Joe's content is gaming, specifically Mario Maker, and while this is the case, he has also made some video essays regarding Mario Maker, which are pretty good. This channel is also run by Zydinian, the person who I mentioned last year. There's only one person that made it into the comedy section this year, and that is Chris DLLN. Dude, I don't know how to say your name. How, how do you pronounce it? Really, I have no clue. Let's just say Chris. <laughs> Chris's content are sketches, mostly, and they mostly relate to games and anime. He also has a Real Talk-esque series where he talks directly to the camera. I have to do this disclaimer though, because uh, it's not really family friendly, but it's still really funny, so I have to at least give him props for being like really funny. The last category is commentary. These commentary channels include Unwanted Commentary, Cordwit, and Just Jargon. Unwanted Commentary is the memeiest commentary channel I've ever seen. This is due to the fact that his editing is very fast paced, not boring, uses meme clips to help convey his points, or just to be lol random xd funny. <laughs> He's genuinely a quirky individual who uses colors, captions, voice changing effects, and sound effects to make his personality vibrant. To top it all off, he wears a green screen mask and uses TV static to mask his face throughout the entire video, which caught my attention in the first place. Cordwit is an animated commentary channel. This is one of my YouTube buddies who spends a lot of time on his videos, and his editing is really good. His channel mostly relates to YouTube situations that have happened in the past and spices it up with animations, which makes him stand out from other commentary channels. I also starred in a video of his from a while back, which is in my collaborations playlist. Last but not least is just Jargon. This guy not only shouted me out on his channel, and not only did I get him on my podcast, but the fact that his channel has extremely eye-catching editing, and has been using some story elements here and there to keep things interesting. He also likes to use satire a lot of the time to help him stand out in his writing. I hope you take the time to look at these people's creativity. If any one of these channels pique your interest, I strongly recommend you check it out. I'm thankful for each and every one of them. A very special thanks to Jeremiah Burroughs for being a $10 patron on my Patreon. If you would also like to help support the channel, go to patreon.com slash or click the link in the description.